everyone, it's Karen Jean, sporting my Eagles green, fly Eagles fly. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm tired today. I was, I was out walking around a lot, doing a lot of work for the real estate side of my business. But uh, I thought that I would come on and say hi to everybody and let's get to work on that prayer journal because we haven't been doing that in a while. So let's see what we decide to do today. I'm thinking maybe pockets, 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 pockets. Here's let's take a journal. Look. Let me pull up my cart next to me. So here's our journal, very pretty. Easter is uh, this coming weekend, my goodness. Haven't done really anything to the outside. So I want to do pockets, pockets, pockets. Let's do a pocket up here, right? I'm wondering if we're gonna do this kind of pocket. I still need to post the video on this one. Uh, a gusseted pocket, but there's one right there, so I don't think we need to do one there. So let's do pockets. I've done some trim work here, right? On the side, done some pretty things, our envelope. Put in a couple of quotes. So yeah, I'm not really feeling inspired by much of anything. I have another pocket here that I put in. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Another gusseted pocket there. And of course, it has the pocket behind it as well. So my dog just had her supper. She's over there licking herself like crazy. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Okay. So my bin over here. And you know what? I have these prayer cards, which are really pretty. I wonder if I can cut that down. I can cut that down and make it a pocket. There's that one, and then there's these with the flowers and the feathers. Um, not, not thinking the, the feathers really go with that. There's also, hang on, my original prayer cards that I got. Uh, blues and pinks. Oh, we could do this one. All right, hang on. Let me put these guys away. Put them aside. So we could do, I'm not looking at the scripture verse right now. I'm just looking at the color. Uh, so do we want that green one or do we want the pink one? Um, I'm thinking green. Okay. Let's see. These are the ones I got last year. They don't have these anymore, but they have the, uh, those other two styles. Okay. So let's, let's pick a verse. Psalm nine under his wings, you will find refuge. He gives grace to the humble. Blessed are the pure. Oh, that's a different color, isn't it? That's a blue. That's a bluey color. That's a greeny color. All right, that's going to limit our... Yeah, I don't want the blue color. These are all blue. Okay. So it is, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you, which is a pretty good one for a prayer journal. He gives grace to the humble. And Okay. <laughs> that was easy, was it not? So I want this... I need to find the center of this card the pocket should be I'm thinking here four and a half inches by two and a half or three uh, so four and a half with an inch on either half an inch on either so five by three and a half okay because I'm gonna um, fold in the sides to make it its own gusset, five by three and a half. And this is six, so so there we go. So I need to cut off uh, half an inch on both sides. 
and then this is four. So I need to cut off a half an inch. I need to cut off a half an inch all the way around, all the way around. So uh, my three hole punch on the floor so I can get my little guillotine trimmer. Um, what did I say this was? This was four. I need a half an inch, half an inch on all sides is what I said. Half an inch on all sides. This is, oops, six. So I need it to be five and a half. I guess the guillotine trimmer is going away. I'm gonna right up to the edge of there. There. And this is four and a half, so take it down to three. And this is five and a half, so we're going to take it down to five. Okay. I have an idea what I can do with those little scraps. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. I am going to chomp it. I know it doesn't look even from your angle, but from my angle, it is right on the bottom here. So pop. And now I'm going to score it a half inch. Not a half inch. What did I say? How big is this now? But yeah, a half inch on all sides. A half inch on all sides. So I'm going to score it there. And this is a heavy card, so I'm making sure I do it two, three times. Five. Four and a half. That's going to make it four inches. I don't want it four inches. I want it four and a half inches. Dag nab it. Quarter inch. Oh, well. Let's see how bad that looks. That's not so bad. Quarter inch, quarter inch. This is what happens sometimes. Quarter inch, quarter inch, which will make it four and a half. Quarter inch. And then this is three. I'm thinking, let's take a look and see. All right, well, I'll just do a quarter inch there as well. Oh, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. Okay. And I'm going to caddy corner. I don't know if you can see the score marks or not, the score lines, but I'm going to chomp that and I'm going to chomp that and I'm going to angle this one down and angle this one down just so that um, it folds over nicer. So there and now we have to fold it into itself. which is where these little, this isn't a bone folder, it's just a piece of plastic. Um, but again, the side that you score it on, that gives it the in, that does the debossing and an embossing or whatever. It puts the indent in and that's where you fold it onto itself. You could do it the other way too. I just find it easier to fold it there that way okay and so this is just a simple gusseted pocket just by cutting it's much easier by cutting the item bigger and folding it over than it is to you know cut it to size and then make gussets I and mean, that's a lot of extra work not to mention a lot of extra materials too okay so put my bone not my bone folder put that away whatever that thing's called 
Oh, my, uh, there. Now, there. It fits there very nicely. The question is, do I want to, I think I do, do I want to move my birds and my clouds? Ah! Hopefully that didn't get on me. Do some inking around it. Get my tropical tango. I need to order refills, I think. And it says tropical tango, but it's pretty much a dead even match for this green. Whatever this green may be. Kind of like a sea foamy green. I guess tropical, right? Sea foamy. Don't know. Hmm. Let me see that little bit there. That is from the edge tearing a little bit. I'm just going to there, cut that off. Now I'm going to use liquid glue on this, not tape. I like that one. I'm afraid I put my trust in you. And I'm going to use, oops, look at that. A little tip came out because I really haven't been working up here in a bit. In a hot minute, as my daughter would say. So, and I go, I do my little squigglies back and forth to give better coverage, I guess. Okay. I don't want that to get knocked over. And there. A little bit has eased off of the side here. I'm going to take my dollar store microfiber cloth rag. It's my rag. Um, just kind of pick up that excess ink. There, but I'm afraid I put my trust in you. Psalm 56 verse 3. And that just gives it a little bit more room. Okay. And I want to close this because I'm not sure what we're doing next. All right. So there's a pocket there. Very nice, right? And look, one of these prayer cards will even fit in there. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Okay. With God, all things are possible. There we have that one. Okay. Pockets, pockets, pockets. Let's flip back to the back. Uh, do we want to do the same thing back here? Oops. We could, we could. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I just had a th thought. I just had a th thought. I have the cross die. I have two different cross dies that I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Also, I'm thinking about stamps and dies. And there are these papers we need to do something with too. Uh, I got this from Simon Hurley. It's his new Easter one. He is risen. That's a pretty big cross. This can be stamped onto cardstock. And then we could do some watercoloring on that and maybe put that on the back. Let's take a look, see. This is what I do. The Simon Hurley stamps are pretty big. They don't fit in the sleeves that I have. So I cut them open. 
this is how I store them. I cut them open. I tear off that little bit that always bothers me. Um, and then I put them in the bag the opposite way. All right? And I'll cut off that bottom piece too so that it will fit in my area. So I'm going to trim this off here. Okay, you're learning all my tricks. Where it's been sealed, I just like cut down the middle of that. I don't want to break that seal, although I do have a food saver, so, you know, I could always seal it myself. But, um, and then that's how I store it, just like that. But here we go. So, oh, look, this, it's a layering one. Oh, that's perfect. We could do that and, oh, look at that. And then put that there. Oh, I, or put it someplace else. Oh, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. Look, these are, these are layering stamps. I did not know that because I did not watch him do a video on these. So these two and these two are layering stamps. And I'm very excited by that. Indeed. Okay. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. And we could do that there. I suppose we could do it on the cover, but I don't want to do it on the cover because anything could happen. Okay, so we could do that there. What do you think? Well, it's in my head, so let's go ahead and see what we can see. Put that aside. Put this aside. Oh, my dog is starting to whine. Very annoying. Very annoying indeed. Is this going to be big enough? Oh, that just fits that cross. Do I have a bigger one? I do have a bigger one. I know I do. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, it's a heavy one too. Okay. Okay, I need a piece of white hard stock. Okay, I'm thinking, well, if we can do the whole thing watercolor. This fall, I'll use a water pen. I will use a water pen. What's that? That's not a water pen. Um, all right, I just, I'm going to use that one water pen. Okay, so that means I'm going to do it in, well, no, because that, I should do that in a brown. What color brown, though? Okay, this is how my mind works, people. This is, okay, do I have black ink on my fingers? Look, do I have black ink? No, okay. So I am going to, and those two things just snapped themselves together. Oh. I'm wondering if, all right, let me peel this off the block and Doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna fussy cut it out when I'm done. Okay, there. And ink it up. I like Simon's stamps. They, this is the first time I'm using these stamps and they, oh, I just got them in my hand that time. They, um, there's no delay or anything in them getting the ink on them. Some of the silicone stamps you have to like wipe off or do it a few times before they actually work well, but I don't find that with Simon's, so. Oh, let's see. That looks good. All right, I'm just gonna take my rag here and wipe it off. I will put it on here and clean it off later with my little mat that I have. Spritz a little cleaning spray on it 
and voila. Let's line these up. Okay, bingo. Let's get out his Gur ink again. Now this is where card making and journal making meet. Simon Hurley's a card maker, right? And this stamp set is for making Easter cards and stuff. But you can also use it in something like this. To, and then fussy cut it out and put it in a journal. I mean, how great is that? Oh, that's, that's lovely. So what we're gonna do now is, I'm just gonna close this and set this aside. I did not put any anti-static on it, but I'm going to emboss it to seal that in. And then that will also give me um, a little bit of a ridge to kind of hold in the watercolors when I start doing the watercolors. Make sure I have Lots of good there we go. And let me reach over here. I have I think it's a totally Tiffany uh little stand in doohickey, whatever, for embossing. I just don't have the space really to set it up here, so I just keep this on my desk and I keep my heat tool inside this mug that um, my uh, sister in Christ, Jessica, sent me. You and I are sisters always. Remember, if you fall, I will pick you up after I finish laughing, which is pretty hysterical. <laughs> I love having that there. Okay, now... And I didn't even do another one in case I needed it. So now we're going to paint before we do the fussy cutting. And for painting, hold on a second. I'm, I'm just going to use the ink pads to paint it. So we're going to do Psych for the Lilies. We're going to do Prom Queen for the two roses, and we're going to do these two for the leaves. So, um, okay, let's start with Prom Queen, and this is what I do. I just take it, and I just kind of squish it down here on a acrylic block, right? Squirts it with water. I have my water pen that I use. What happened to my water pen? I just had it out. Here it is. Um, gonna pull up some of that. Let me see. That's fine. And put it a bit darker, right? And then Let's pull it out. Into the flower. 
make it darker in the center there and lighter on the outside, right? So let's see if we can spread that out a little bit. I'm not using watercolor paper for this. So let's wipe that one away. And let's put down some psych. Can you see it there? There, maybe you can see it that way. Uh, let's see what we got. See, it's all very simple and easy. And the embossing has created a tiny little barrier, so it's not going anywhere. And yes. So. my phone ringing and I already know it's probably my sister calling and I will call her back put a little shading in there and there okay wipe the tip of that off wipe this off and now a little later gator, All right? And a little fake plant, which is darker. Okay. Now I'm first going to do the fake plant on this right here. Little bottom of those lilies whoops right there get some of the water off okay now let's pick up some later gator which is a lighter color This is fake plan again for the leaves here. Oh, got a little bit there, but that's okay. There. And we're going to wait for that to dry. There it is. Now, where's our book? Where's our book? Underneath the misty. I need to put that away. There. Do you think it gets lost? I think it's getting lost on that. Okay, what I'm thinking is that I didn't like the way this looked straight on the that very busy background. So I'm going to first try to, this is already colored cardstock. I'm going to try to do this on colored cardstock. If I don't like the way it looks, I'll get a piece of white cardstock and do it myself. is all nice and inky. My goodness, I don't know what's going on out there, but whatever it is. Also, 
So this might be the wrong, this might not be yellow enough, might be a little bit too orange for what I'm trying to do. There. Okay. Nice thing about Simon Hurley inks is that they are all water soluble. So they come right up. Now I'm thinking that we could do it this way. But I'm thinking the sun on the bottom doing it this way. So I need to trim that off. Um, I wonder if I have an oval die big enough. die big enough. I do. Okay. My dog is staring at me and I have no idea why my dog is staring at me. Didn't get it quite centered. But I think that'll be okay. So, the question is... Do we want to put it there? Good. Do we want to put it someplace inside? That's pretty. We could put it there. Good. Put it there and we could use some blue ink around the background to make it look like a sky. Do you know, I just might use... Yeah, there goes that. I'm always dropping something. This here is Nouveau Crystal Glaze, which is just like uh, Glossy Accents, except that it dries a lot faster. I'm thinking here on this flower. I do the leaf as well. Thinking on the bird. And that's what I should have done before I did that. A little bit of glitter, because we do love our glitter. Okay, well, we have to wait for that to dry now, so I guess we're done for the day. I hope you had fun. I know I sure did. It was a nice surprise realizing that they were layering stamps. Now I have to go clean up the mess. Well, we put our imaginations to use today, didn't we? This is Karen Jean from Ex Libris Crafts. You're only limited by your own imagination. Let it run wild. Thanks for stopping by.